Oh, that first jump was actually him when he noticed it. Oh, wow. He went right up to it, too. Today we're taking our dogs Zazu and Wally for rattlesnake aversion training. Rattlesnakes are venomous and common throughout the California Bay Area open spaces. And since we go on a lot of off-leash adventures, we want them to be as safe as possible by training them to stay away from rattlesnakes. In 1,000 feet. Once we got to the training location, we gave them some time to sniff around. Zazu is nervous. Good, how are you doing? Doing oh, well. Which one's which? Uh, this is Wally, this is Zazu. Hi, Wally and Zazu. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, 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 good. Here we go. <laughs> Zazu, oh, Zazu. what a good guy, huh? What a good guy. Oh, he's a good pup. He's a good pup. Yes, he is. Oh, hey, Wally. <laughs> Bad news is, is you're going to learn snakes don't like you. Yeah. That's kind of good news, though. Because we don't want to get bit by one. Yeah, he's definitely the one who's going to go sniffing. Yeah. The trainer explained the process to us and then put a remote training collar on Wally. This is to provide a perfectly timed low-level stimulation that Wally will associate the rattlesnake with. Good boy, Walt. Good boy, Walt. This training will enable Wally to detect the sights, sounds, and smells of rattlesnakes and create the reflex to quickly move away and avoid them. There's a baby rattlesnake right over there. He's now going back two additional times. Now I'm a lot better than that snake. <laughs> I know, isn't it? Oh, even there, huh? Well, why don't we stay away from it? As we all know, Wally is a curious one and he went multiple times towards the baby rattlesnake to smell it. And because of the stimulation, he is learning that it's not a good idea to go close to the snake and that is why he is maintaining his distance Whoa. right now. Let's go get you again. Oh, it got us again, I know. Well... I do stupid stuff and walk towards him sometimes. So he knows he doesn't want to touch it. We're just working on that buffer zone. And also teaching, sometimes the human goes towards him and don't follow. The second part of the training is walking towards snake shed skin. We want Wally to walk away from the snake skin as well. You had to go double check on that as well. 
put his nose right on the shed skin the first time, stuff about a foot behind it the second time. Well, looking at it right there a second ago. Oh boy, that was all him. In this part of the training, Wally will have to avoid an adult rattlesnake when I call him towards me. Oh boy, I know. get you in trouble. Oh, that first jump was actually him when he noticed it. I just reinforced with the collar. Well, good choice. <laughs> Is this your safe spot? Huh? <laughs> like, I'm going to hide by you, buddy. <laughs> Wally, come! Wally, come! Oh, good, good boy. boy, good boy, good boy. I'm gonna have you. Okay. Next is Zazu. Although Zazu always walks beside us on off leash hikes and isn't as curious as Wally, we still wanted him to go through the training. Zazu's more trusting of, oh, you got me once, I'm going to stay farther away. Yeah. So that was just a stimulation to increase that buffer zone. He already decided, I'm not touching that again. Yeah. <laughs> That's all him. <laughs> Good choice, Zazu. Please note that these snakes are all safely and humanely muzzled and equal consideration is put into their well-being also. Good job. You guys okay there? <laughs> Still panting. We do plan to bring Zazu and Wally back next year to reinforce this training. While nothing is guaranteed, rattlesnake avoidance training has proven to be highly effective in preventing snake encounters. If you would like to watch more videos of Zazu and Wally, please subscribe to our channel and also hit that bell button.